Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Complete Computer Know-How. In this tutorial we'll be looking at the Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor. This software basically tells you whether your hardware, software and drivers are compatible with upgrading to Windows 7. I'll be placing a link underneath this video to the Microsoft website where you can download this software. Right, the first screen that you will see is the terms and conditions of using this software. If you accept the terms, then you need to click here. Once you've clicked there, you need to click on the install button. The software will now install on your computer. Depending on how fast the machine is will determine how long it takes. Right, installation complete. This is just letting me know that the installation is now complete and I can access the software from my start menu or my desktop. So I will click the close button. Now you can see that on my desktop there is a Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor icon. Right, this will be the first window that you see once you double click on the icon. This is basically just telling us what the software is about to do. Now we will click on the start check. This check can take quite a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the video. Once the software has had a look at your machine, this will be the next window that you can see. As you can see at the top, the software has found seven issues that need to be addressed on my computer. But it also says that any time upgrade is available, and I can upgrade to the 64-bit version of Windows 7 Professional or Ultimate. It says that the four system requirements are passed. That will be my CPU, the amount of RAM I have, the graphics, and also the hard drive size. It says that the seven devices listed are all compatible. Now if I go down the programs, it's saying that the Adobe Media Player that I have installed is not compatible. It also says that there are known issues with Neuro Burning ROM. There are some paid upgrades from Microsoft SQL Server and some upgrades from Toshiba. But it says the other 67 programs listed are all compatible. You may find that on your computer there may be different ticks, different crosses. Um, you might find that certain pieces of your hardware are not compatible you might find that certain devices or certain pieces of software are not compatible. You will need to address these issues first before you do your upgrade. That's the end of the tutorial. If you have any questions, if you'd like to go to the Contact Us tab and fill in the form and I'd be happy to return your question with an answer via email. Thank